Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Tim Novals, and we are here today to present Wendy. So, when a person in the family gets cancer, the whole family gets cancer. Um, For young patients, especially, the they not only um it's tough for them not only to just because they don't know what the problem is, but it's hard for them to express their struggles to the others around them. And our solution at Bunyip brings um, traditional storytelling and game playing to involve children and help them connect with the community and ch children like them around them and um, express themselves um, with the others and the um, the NGO. The, people who are there to help them. Families in these situations feel isolated. They may live in remote and rural locations. And the volunteers need to travel and may not be available at all times of the day. A puppet show is intimate. You kind of have to be there or else you miss out. And unless your family has been touched by tragedy before, because there's a limited support network at the beginning of the journey. Banya builds resilience and optimism by connecting and matching children with other children and children with storytellers. Banya brings storytelling into the digital domain by opening up possibilities of accessibility, interactivity, and language translation. And because it's digital, we can share the journeys of the kids as they participate in the stories and use digital communications technologies to go wherever the internet goes. So it's super easy. Uh, Rose has a son, Damon, who has uh, leukemia. And Rose finds an ad on Facebook and signs Damon up for our, our application, Funny. Gamer matches with Bryce's group of leukemia pediatric patients, and he's promptly added to the group. Gamer joins the group session using the link that Bryce has sent him, and Gamer shares his chemotherapy experience with the group in this session. Bryce then starts to tell a story, incorporating parts of Gamer's experience into the story so that Gamer feels part of the interaction. These group sessions are recorded, which forms a running storyline for the group. Stories can be stored and viewed offline by the group members. If Damon misses a session for any reason at all, Bryce can send an SMS link containing the link to the recorded video for Damon to catch up for the next session. So let's check it out. Bunyip uses multiple technologies. Primarily, it will use Oracle Cloud uh, to store the recorded videos and it'll use video.io as the primary form of video conferencing. And it will also utilize the Telstra messaging API to send SMS uh, to our members as notifications. So I'll go, uh, run you through a demo. So for this demo side, we'll be playing the part of Rise, the storyteller, and our head of technology, Jag, will be playing the part of Gamer, the story video. So here's the landing page. There's a link for users to sign up or sign in, but in this scenario, Demo has already created an account. So you'll click launch. And once the connection has started, Bryce can now begin the session. The Bravest Fish by Matt Buckingham. Below the waves, a little fish named Stanley lived in this school. They were the brightest, sparkiest fish in the deep dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up late. Hello, it's me, he called to his friend. But the reef was strange enough. And that's not the end of that session. There's also an accessibility feature for Damo to view and read captions in his own language on the side button. So now that the session has ended, Bryce will also be able to send an SMS to the group containing a link to the recorded stories. And that marks the end of the demo.
into the future, we have a product roadmap that will include automated translation, incorporate augmented reality, and collaborate with game developers to develop specific games for victim and populations. To take this and bring this to reality, we would like to partner with organizations as part of their corporate social responsibility program. And to start this, we would like to collaborate <laughs> with our technology sponsors as well as organizations like Muruji for mentoring and support. We aim to create awareness and outreach through other NGOs like Camp Quality and government agencies such as the Department of Social Services. To roll this up to other communities that will benefit from Banyip, we would like to outreach to organizations such as the NDIS Local Coordination Organization. So that's our presentation for today. Thank you so much for your attention. We are happy to take any questions that you have for me. Thank you. Um, so a couple of, a couple of questions uh, for myself. Uh, so um, so one thing, um, so what makes this solution uh, different than anything else on park? I guess what's your unique value proposition? How would you pitch like this is a thing rather than say Google Hangouts or provide this kind of experience or something? So I guess it's it's sort of recognizing the um, few things. So for instance, you know, something like uh, Twitch is really popular because yes. it's about the uh, community. And the interaction around playing games and around watching and spectating games. So I guess we wanted to incorporate uh, that uh, aspect into um, an interactive storytelling and game playing experience. For these kids. It's basically, I guess, bringing the technologies that are currently available and <laughs> mixing them in platform that isn't available for uh, guys at Camp Quality to provide the service that they do without requiring you know, them to create their own platform as well. Or without having to stitch together um, um, you know, technology communications and technology. And to add C's point would be like, sorry, uh, so it's more from a learning perspective for those special uh, kids, special children who are like are restricted or more like challenge and then uh, they have less uh, uh, the other amount of the process of the learning process is much like restricted but for, for through this platform obviously is we are like trying to connect to both volunteers who are who are like uh, suppose I mean as an as an example like um, uh, even a, a, a guy who's working nine to five and he's willing to volunteer something but he's unable to volunteer physically but through this platform obviously they they can stretch themselves and they can provide certain support over the weekend or probably uh, after hours uh, to, to record, to do a storytelling, and even to have an interactive game with the uh, special people, so special kids, I would say, where uh, they can, uh, the special kids can learn through the through the interaction, uh, not only through the videos from one side, but definitely from the uh, responding back to the volunteer, to the presenter. I think from the non-technology perspective, what is different about us is we are also designing this from the perspective of the child. So it's not about the adults, and as we have started off from our slide, it is very hard for the child to communicate. So if you listen, if you got a picture of our story, we did mention that Bryce already administered a group of his child with the same needs. And so you imagine if they was in a hospital preparing for his chemo session, you can start a session with him, demo will be with other kids. And they'll be interacting, and this will give them some assurance that hey, it's going to be okay, you're going in, we are here with you. And I think that's very, very important. And I think this is where we are different. So, connecting children with children as well, so that they can go through this journey. Stop. It's talking about more, it would be talking more about life, so how they can. <laughs> Well, 
Uh, it was, I would say, neither easy neither hard. So it was uh, it could be on the medium side. But yeah, through the APIs, we were able to uh, we were able to connect those services where where it is already available. And since it's like the heterogeneous environment, we got Oracle with, on the one side as a storage, and the on the on the other side we got the uh, the messaging app. So we are we are able to connect through those the rest APIs. And it was we were at the end of the day, I would say that we uh, uh, it was steaming. Uh, seamless the uh, uh, the journey for us, uh, so that we focused only on the business solutions. The technology part it was it was more like an, uh, providing the solutions to the business solution to the business. Uh, at at point at, at at this point of time, we just static. But uh, going forward, obviously, we are going to use the Oracle as a database database as a service where we can host it uh, our uh, the entire data set, where be it like with the volunteer or the even with the children database. Along with that, we uh, we plan to use the identity management as well, so that I mean we uh, out of the box is available, so we can make use of that uh, technology rather than designing from scratch and which will which will reduce for the time and efforts from the technology perspective and focus only on the delivery rather than uh, rather than doing doing the uh, start from scratch bring, bring it from the zero Thanks,